Hey. Time for another five minute pet question of the day. With Tacky. And me. Yep. And Phoebe, who's eating his pet. Yep. Okay, so this is a fun one. I need a fun one. My okay. mind's not working this morning. Crack screens. What about them? Okay. We're recording this on a crack screen. Just for full disclosure. Yeah, that gets me really angry. Sorry. So the question is, um, well, how do cracks happen? That's pretty obvious, but you can talk about that anyway. Right. Um, using a cracked screen, the ins and outs of it. Yeah. And repairing a cracked screen. Right. Go on. Oh, my goodness. So are we talking just like Apple crack screens? Sure. Fine. Start, start somewhere. All right. So essentially, if you're someone that cracks a screen consistently, then uh, getting Apple Care Plus, it reduces the amount of money that it costs for that cracked screen and it keeps the device in warranty. Now, rewind, can you put a cover on your screen? You can put glass on your screen, yeah. Oh, or you, okay. Or you can put like matte finish on your screen. Or But do they have like covers or no? I guess I would mess up your... I mean, there's definitely products out there that you can put glass on your screen if you want to. Right, but does it have to be glass? Or wasn't there like some kind of plastic casing? Or yeah, the, plas the plastic does, does nothing. It doesn't do anything, okay. Like plastic and how is just, it, it goes and makes it so that way if you're in a very sunny room, mm -hmm. instead of the light reflecting off like a mirror, mm -hmm. it uh, takes the light and distributes it across the device. Okay. So, as far as cracking a screen, um, it's funny because, like, I, I feel like there, are, I've dropped my, before my screen, my screen's cracked too because, yes. you know, our three, four year old got a hold of it and had a little fun. Yeah. But um, I feel like I've dropped my screen multiple times before that and never had any issue. Correct. Right? And then he, at some point, had a problem. So he did it to mine as well, and it just right, right. makes well, it's, me... You know, the ins and outs of having kids around your yeah. devices. So, okay. <laughs> so the question is, like, what angles, or I want to say, like, what, what things cause a screen to crack and what things do not? That's, that's kind of a, a silly question. But that's like, a silly all, question. In, no, but in all seriousness, like, are there certain angles that you know well if something if something because first of all you need to figure out if you have a case that has the ability of changing the angle because like right now on my ipad um there's like a, a there's a lip to it yeah so right. as a result when things drop if, if it falls flat on the ground it's fine the only reason why there's even a crack on my ipad right now is because our kid went and and um i, I placed the ipad on the stairs and then he flipped the iPad over and rubbed it into the stairs. Right. So in other words, if you're you're kind of like having direct impact on the actual screen, right. it might be a problem. Right, because he thought he was protecting <laughs> he thought he was protecting the screen. Yeah. Like like his, he he was upset right. that, that our other kid was gonna touch the screen. Right. So he ended up like when I wasn't looking, turning the <gasps> iPad over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, turning the iPad over and just, it just didn't work out. Right, I get that. But I guess what I'm saying is, like, let's say somebody, um, you know, bangs into the screen on, like, a corner or an edge. or right. Like, is that more likely to have a problem than, like, the middle of the screen or something? Or does it make a difference? No. Well, I'm just curious. Temperature, like, temperature makes a difference because okay. that can cause a hairline crack. Like if you go from like a really cold spot to a really hot spot. Right. So but that's if, important to know. But if something like that happens, sometimes if you get a good uh, genius, then essentially they might even just replace the screen for free. Yeah. Because they'll call it a manufacturer defect. That's interesting. Um, but that depends upon what the hairline crack is and what their current manual even states mm -hmm. um, they're allowed to do. Right. Plus the other thing is, is that... Um, th th when it when it comes to to these uh, things, like you you don't go into the store and say, um, I've bought two hundred products in the past with Apple. It's like everybody has. Mm -hmm. It doesn't do anything. And and the worse that you go and you treat your the, the, the person that you're working with as the genius, 
um, they're less likely to go to bat for you. Mm -hmm. And they're even going to make sure to find a manager that will absolutely say, no, we're not going to help you. What, if you say you've bought a lot of things in the past year? Or, no, or you say, like, like oh, this should be covered because of X, Y, Z, and you're, like, pleading your case. Right. So, right, well, I'm, I'm just trying to, to get to the rational bottom of, like, of, you know, what causes cracks and what doesn't. What causes cracks I mean, is poor, glass. Poor, yeah. poor glass being put on. Right, okay. It's like, that over time, they need to get better at, at finding better glass right. material. Right, so we'll see what technology does in the future. Right, I mean, because Gorilla Glass, it's um, what what I think it's called Corel. I think the name of the company mm -hmm. that makes Gorilla Glass, mm -hmm. um, and so they have various iterations, and it's gotten better over time, but it breaks. Right, especially if you have kids for some reason. Right. Well, so I didn't know it, I didn't know about the heat cold thing. So that's something we learned from that. So that's good. That's a start. All right. So that's part one. Part two. Um, what was I going to say? The safety of, um, of using a crack screen. It's not safe. Okay. And why isn't it safe? Um, because essentially, like, when it comes to the crack and stuff, you don't know what chemicals is leaching out of the, right. out of the glass. Right. I mean, obviously, if your, your glass is, like, in shards, then, you know, that's a whole other situation. But, right. I mean, my device and your device and probably a lot of people's devices just get, like, a hairline crack. You know, that kind of... I mean, right. I find, like, sometimes it makes it, um, if I'm trying to, like, tap on something on the screen, it, it'll, like, have trouble where the crack is. Right, because it will think that somebody's already tapping on the screen. Yeah. So it's, like, it's important to get it fixed, but it's but if you don't have the money to get it fixed, you're literally stuck. Right. Because it's, like, functional, it's just not ideal. No, but other the, otherwise you have to, like, attach a mouse or something to override right. whatever crack is in there. Right. But it's like, more often than not, you have to make a decision when you have a correct screen of, are you going to um, get a new device or not? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of these cracks can't be repaired. All that can happen is, is that they take your device and then you get a new one mm -hmm. from them. So in other words, it will, it'll be very interesting, like 10 years down the line, to see what technology they come out with for screen well it's going to change especially because um apple is being forced to have better repairability yeah but the thing is is they've now added a section within <laughs> the device that yeah. literally goes and tells you if you've got genuine parts i don't know i don't know if it's on my uh, phone or not but i'll take a quick look and see yeah. uh if it's there but i think I think there's now a section, a section that's that's in there. Okay, I'm just looking. I'll I'll have to see where where exactly um, it shows. Let me just look this up one second. But you can keep talking while. I'm well, I mean, other other than that, I'm gonna move into the next subject. Hey, hey, look who's here! Yeah, so move, move into. Hi. The, there, I think that's the next subject. The phone parts. You don't get phone parts. Well, no, well, fine, I, no, because right, so I was looking. Uh, I was looking at iOS how to look at. So a new parts and service history section. I'm just trying to find where it is. Yeah. Well, this uh, this basically is the, parts the, and the service part section. three. The part three is repairing it. So if you have a cracked screen. Yeah. How do you fix it? Like, is this one of these things I see some, with some, like, you know, your watch screen, your watch screen, your watch glass, right, breaks, and they're like, rub toothpaste into it or something, yeah. you know? Like, what do you do if your if the glass on your device breaks? Yeah, according to, to Apple official um, news, what you do is, is you bring it down and then... Right. Right. I mean... Yeah, I guess you could do the two. I haven't tried the toothpaste thing. Yeah, I mean, that probably wouldn't work for like a full crack, but like a scratch, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that'll that'll work better on a device that's not an Apple device, because right. also the screen is coded. Yeah. In a certain way. That's interesting. Because you'll notice that with other touch screens, you'll go and you'll um, push down really, really hard on that touch screen. He, take the iPad, please. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. he's shaking me. That's okay. Um, but on other touch screens, but in the case of uh, Apple devices, I don't know. It might not necessarily, it might not necessarily work out. Mm 
like the thing is if you've got a crack that's going across your front camera mm -hmm. then it's like okay you definitely have to do something about it right but so it kind of depends on on the nature of the crack so the question is do you you know i i've seen you know crack repair shops right and like right. this the stands in the mall right. and all that stuff right who do you want to go to? Because they might be offering you a better price, right? They're offering you a better price with maybe a substandard piece of glass. Yeah. And would that void the warranty on your device? It used to. Okay. Does it still? I don't know. Okay. Because that's something you need, you need that vertical it's, or something. That's something that's basically up to the um, the manufacturer to decide. Uh -huh. I mean, I know when I was at Apple, it would void the warranty. Yeah. But nowadays, I'm hearing that it's not. Interesting. But I don't know, because cause also, like, Apple has now a whole site about right to repair mm -hmm. that goes and says that they're going to allow consumers to be able to purchase parts. We don't know what price they're going to allow consumers to purchase. Mm -hmm. And if those prices are going to be more expensive than what it would be if you were to buy those parts at the Genius Bar, or if it's going to be the same price Genius Bar offers, but if you go and you buy the price of whatever those parts are and you return whatever was inside the device the broken part then you get a discount back on what you originally paid for the parts yeah. so a repair shop could store up a bunch of parts but then they can't pay they can't get their money back on those parts until those parts are used so most repair shops are going to be delayed unless they keep some common parts that they tend to always be using mm -hmm. um so as far as Apple genuine parts, but the non Apple genuine parts, some of them are good and some of them just are not going to be good for your device. But it used to be if you put a non genuine part in an Apple device, your camera would stop functioning. Mm -hmm. You, you wouldn't be able to charge the device. Um, it could even cause some overheating taking place in the device where your device gets on fire. So in other words, it's important to do this right. Yeah. So, so my question is, if somebody, what do you do if somebody comes to you with a crack screen? Um, I have a guide that I work with that I go and I show them, show them the information about the crack screen, and they either tell me they can do it or they can't do it. Yeah. And in some cases, it's not worth doing it, unless there was one person that had a crack screen on a really, really old phone, mm -hmm. and it cost I think mm -hmm. like four hundred or five hundred dollars just to fix the screen, mm -hmm. but they really wanted the stuff that was on the device. Yeah. So they paid the so money. It it. For them, it was worth it because right. the data, the data was worth the five hundred dollar price point. But it's yeah. like, uh, some people they'll hear that and they're like, "Nah, I'm fine with my current device. I don't, I don't need my old relic." And what if somebody has like a device that's not an Apple device that's cracked? What do they do with it? I gather they can't take it to an Apple store. No, they would have Apple to. Device. They would have to contact someone like myself and find out um, from from the guy that I work with that has a white white lab right. to go into make sure uh, things of like what the cost is mm -hmm. for that particular part. And would they? Would they? Uh, as an alternative, could they bring it back to like the? you know microsoft store or something if that's where they got it or how does that you could bring it back there or whatever they're just going to sell you a new device yeah so in other words not everybody actually um... they don't care about data recovery yeah that's interesting because your response the thing is all tech people are going to always say the same thing that you're responsible for your data yeah you're responsible for the backup you're responsible for they're, they're, all they're responsible for is will the device function yeah they don't care about your data it's interesting. Yeah. Even when you're at an Apple store, they make you sign a waiver that says that um, we are not going to restore your data. Interesting. If it happens to be restored, awesome. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's it's up to you <laughs> to have that back on. Yeah. So, in other words, it's a big subject, and we're going on 15 minutes again in a second. So. Yeah. I love how you say so five minutes, but no, you choose well, subjects okay. that go longer that's than five okay. minutes. That's okay. There's a lot of information here. Yeah. So, basically, try not to crack your screen. Yeah. And if it happens, there may be options. I mean, then you basically have to figure out, are you going to get a new device? Right. Are you going to get it repaired? Right. Which is a, a matter of individual circumstance. Right. Do you even which have the be, money which for be, it? Right. You know, so consulting with somebody like you, you know, might be worth, you know, if you're, if you're looking to have a conversation, figure out what's the best option. Right. That might be worth it. Right, because sometimes, or whatever, the guy that I, hmm. that I work with 
like sometimes we can take the device and give you a discount on what a newer device would be mm -hmm. where the parts happen to be more valuable to us than a broken unit is to you right so, and, so there yeah. are options like if, right. the, if this ever happens to you i mean you know you're allowed to panic but like you know yeah but but know that it's not necessarily the end of the road you might have ways of fixing that situation or it could be the end of the road then next thing you know we're sitting there just kind of talking about problems right that's kind of crazy and yeah, it's like right. calls calls like like crazy today right. but everything happens for a reason so if your screen cracks like there's i there's, i, I, there's I, get, I go into a depression when i know my screen cracks. i know i know I'm still. I, I want. I want my screen to be better. Yeah. I want to. I want to. I would love to screen. have my screen fixed too, but you know, one day we'll get there. Mm. We'll figure it out. All right. Right now it's functioning, so thank God. Right, because that's the other thing you have to consider is that if you don't bring your device down to let's say an Apple store or something like that, mm -hmm. and you bring it to a Best Buy or some other Apple authorized place, then you might be with, uh, without your device for a week. Right. And in my case, when I've done that over at a Best Buy, like sometimes they'll actually have a um, I, a used iPad that you can purchase, mm -hmm. and then you transfer your data over to that used iPad, and then let go of this iPad, and then when you're done, you then return that iPad. Right, but that's kind of easy for you to to deal with the logistics of that. Right. But you know how to transfer your data. The right. average person might not. No, exactly. But the bottom line is think outside the box. Right. You know, don't give up hope. Explore your options. Ask mm -hmm. lots of questions. Yep. Okay. If people have questions... 707-267-7778. That's right. And what's your website? TechieToTheRescue.com. That's right. And we're going to tie this up because we're already almost at 17 minutes now. Yay. So... Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. All right. Bye. All right, bye.